going to the log cabin mine near Lee Vining, California. And uh, hope to get started early today. It's probably nine o'clock, yeah, so it's not early. Anyway, here we go. Ready to go? Are you ready to go? Yes. Okay. Well, we headed up beautiful Sonora Pass, California, and we soon found a problem. Well, we have less than a quarter tank of gas. I was going to get gas at Cold Springs, California, but I did not realize that gas station was closed. I think somebody new bought it and they're doing some remodeling, but it's definitely not pumping gas today. Now we got to turn around and go back about uh, 10 miles to the last gas station where it was over six dollars a gallon and here at Cold Springs it was always a reasonable price. Okay. Okay, are you ready to go Addy? Yes. Okay, we, uh, we got some gas and we added a quart of oil and you got a Diet Mountain Dew and I have my Diet Pepsi and we're set to go. Well, once again, we've entered the highway, California Highway 108, heading up Sonora Pass. It's a beautiful pass. I never get tired of the views from this road. It's steep, it's narrow, it's winding, and it's not recommended for trailers or large vehicles. I want to get back to Sonora Pass, but now we have gone onto US 395. This is in Mono County and it is heading south. We're entering the little town of Bridgeport, population about 600 or so, uh, not cows, people, probably way more than 600. And now we're going on south toward the town of Lee Vining. We've just passed through town and we are turning right on the Tioga Pass Road, California Route 120. This would go into Yosemite National Park. And now we're at that little red marker. Here we go, let's turn right. Yep, log cabin, wilderness camp. And we are headed up toward log cabin mine. Back to Sonora Pass, as I was talking about earlier, by most accounts, the first immigrant crossing was in the late summer of 1852 by a wagon train known as the Clark Skidmore Company. After this, merchant interests in the communities of Sonora and Columbia promoted the route to California-bound immigrants. They weren't always appreciative of the suggestion, though, when they discovered how difficult the route was. The road has become suddenly narrower and rougher. And then with the discovery of silver and gold mining east of the Sierra Nevada in the beginning of the 1860s, the counties on both sides of the pass pushed for development of a road that would enable them to improve trade. Surveying for a road through Sonora Pass began in 1863, and two years later it was being used. it's the things you don't expect that are the most enjoyable. Uh, we were out for a drive today and we found this side road went up to the top of this hill and it's beautiful up here. It's looking down at Mono Lake, California. And now from up here we can see off in the distance that uh, serpentine road going up there. Those switchbacks, that's where we're going next. My uh, topo map doesn't say anything about them. 
I got out to look at one that's closer to us here, and now I see them on the hillside there. Huh. I guess that's as close as I'm going to walk to it. There's no signs or anything. Log Cabin Mine was operated from the 1910s until the onset of World War II. Not sure what this is. Some sort of a tub. Maybe it held crushed rock or something. Oh, I see. It washed the uh, crushed rock back and forth and back and forth. So I don't have it in my head yet exactly what. There's a Another shed up there. I suppose there's a conveyor belt in that corrugated stuff that would bring the minerals over here, the rock. But then this is a conveyor belt that brings it up to another rock crushing place. There's the uh, vertical shaft. Here's, looks like a commercial kitchen. I would bet this was the cookhouse. Uh, that's probably the log cabin that the log cabin mine is named after. sort of a freezer or refrigerator in there. They must have stored their food in here. Yeah, didn't log cabin, that's for sure. Modern operations began after World War II and continued in the 1980s. For a while, the mine was the largest producer of gold in California. The mine property was donated to a public agency in 1971, and today many of the mine buildings are still intact. Public access to most of it is permitted. The main head frame and central part of the mine looks to be on the verge of collapsing into the gaping hole below. We headed to the mine this past summer. The long dirt road from Lee Vining is best suited for four-wheel drive or high clearance vehicles. Now I looked at several sites online which gave information on how the mine was operated. Uh, one of them said there was air compressor to lift the hoist for the personnel that work there and so on. There seems to be a bit of conflicting information, so I would just direct you to look online and get some of the interesting background of the log cabin mine. A cable went over, can't see it in this view, there's a pulley there. And, uh, oh, there we go. There's the cable coming down to an elevator. And that goes down the mine shaft. After looking at this video when I got home, I realized that this second winch there, which is on the railroad tracks, pulled some sort of ore cars. I don't know if they went at an angle that I wasn't seeing or how they got to the surface, but then the ore cars would take the ore to the next point. This is something that would move the rock back and forth. I don't know if that crushed it or what 
that did. I think they used some sort of mercury in the process to help get the gold out, so maybe this mixed that with the mercury. Just, just some ideas. It's just fascinating. You're adding the ore would go in that and then pulverize it and out the bottom would come the powdered rocks and they would mix that to get extract the, the gold. They also mixed in those cast iron things that look like um, cannonballs and that helped break up the rock too. Okay here we go that goes down the shaft way way down and I'm not going to drop my thumb. Well, thank you for joining us on our trip today. Hope you've enjoyed coming along, and if you are in the area, I think it's worth a side trip. You can bring your lunch up there, nice views, beautiful day, and the road is not that difficult. Thanks for joining us to the Log Cabin Mine. Everybody. This is Ariel the Jeep Dog. Thanks for watching our video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there. <laughs>